Today, transport by ship is one of the most efficient ways of transporting goods. But also shipping is responsible for the largest part of pollution by sulfur dioxide. As of 2015, new EU legislation will limit the use of fuel oil from 1% sulfur to 0.1% on the North Sea, Baltic Sea and the English Channel. As this fuel is considerably more expensive, this means an extra cost of 3 billion euro per year for shipping in Europe. DFDS has therefore been working hard to find a solution to this challenge. Very early DFDS, they choose to invest in scrubber technology. As I tried to explain it, it's actually like a big shower head with thousands of nozzles washing all the sulfur out of the exhaust and only steam is coming out of the exhaust pipe. It's a quite good system. So far, it's, we are washing 90 to 100 percent of the sulfur out of the system. In 2009, DFDS started testing this new technology by installing the world's first and largest scrubber on board of Ficaria Seaways. Today, also the Magnolia Seaways has a scrubber up and running since two months. Installing this scrubber was a major challenge. Before, when the ship was new, the funnel was not that large, but right now they increased it by about four, four times as much because we had to have the scrubber unit inside the funnel. That means that we had a lot of piping to do and as you can see, it's all the way from the funnel down into the engine room. So, and it forced them back. That was the most difficult part in all the piping. It's a special design just for Magnolia. This makes installing this new technology expensive, almost 5 million euro per ship. Although this scrubber makes DFDS fully compliant with the new EU legislation, we continue improving this technology. We're using a lot of energy in pumping all this liquid up in the, in the piping. So if we can limit the liquids and the pumping, that means also that we can use less energy. With this new scrubber system, DFS is not only complying with the new legislation, but also helping the environment.